<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We're still talking about Reba. We cannot get over it. We are we are spilling the tea to Chris Luzader because it's movie news with the Luz, but we are filling her in on Can everything Can people please Reba. send this show to Reba just to let her know how much we love her? Maybe she'll come on the show. Maybe she will. She'll zoom in. <laughs> she'll zoom in. <laughs> she, I just got done talking to her. I don't know. You guys are behind. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> but Chris hey, Luzader. I've got a lot of stuff to talk okay. about. we got to get to All this. Right. Okay. Yes. So... New at the box this weekend, I'm very excited to report a very good movie, Civil War. This is a journey across a dystopian future. Okay, so it doesn't mean, you know, there's no conspiracy theories about it meaning something. Following a team of military embedded journalists as they race against time to reach Washington, D.C., before some rebel factions descend upon the White House. So, Kirsten Dunst is in this. Jesse Plemons has a very unsavory small role. But there she is, Kaylee Spaney, our very own. And she is so good. Well, everybody is so good in this. But it's, it's really a focus on the journalists for uh, this battle, getting the pictures and staying safe. And it just, I was like wrapped up into it, because I saw it last night, wrapped up into it, making sure that everybody was safe, that I cared about. And, uh, but it is one of her best roles to Who, date. One? Kaylee Spaney. Oh, okay. And it, it, she is so good in this, and she is every bit as part of the movie as Kirsten Dunst. And uh, probably her and Kirsten Dunst, it's really their movie. Wow. And it was really good. Quick question, is, that about, is there aliens in that? No. Oh, okay. No. It's just, just uh, war. Just it's war. just like okay. a, you don't really know what time it, time frame it is. Okay. There's no dates oh. per se. And it's all in America. The fighting is in America. So hopefully okay. we do not get to this dystopian yes. future, please. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Uh, also new on the big screen, The Long Game. This is based on the critically acclaimed book set in 1955 about a uh, five young Mexican-American caddies who were determined to learn how to play golf. They created their own golf course in the middle of South Texas in the desert. What? Uh-huh. Dennis Quaid and Jay Hernandez star. Good weekend for it to come out. Uh, oh, Cheech Marin's in it, too. Um, isn't uh, this this week uh, is the Masters, I think. Yes, right? yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know if we needed this movie. Thank you. However, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead has been rebooted. Of course, the 1991 hit with Christina Applegate. But this one has the delightful June Squibb, who I love. I, do love I, Squibb, do, I love yeah. June Squibb. Uh, she's in it. But, um, you know, it's, did we need it? No. That's the I'm, question. Maddie and I talked this morning. We're not happy about it. Mm-hmm. And I really thought, I wasn't sure that it was coming to the big screen, to be honest with oh, you, until yeah. I actually, you know, got word of it, so. I mm -hmm. had told Maddie about that a couple months ago or something when I saw it, and I, th I thought it was a spoof. I thought it was a parody. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then I had to ask, I was like, why do we, I think any remake, honestly, like even Roadhouse, like did we need it? No, but I did love me some Roadhouse. Overboard, did we need that? Did we no, need that? You but know, I like, liked her, I liked her. Just let the classics be the classics, you know. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. However, I was a naysayer on touching Top Gun. We saw how that turned out with Top Gun Maverick. Mm -hmm. But was that a remake? It just was. No, it was an, an extension. So, okay, so very yes. different. Yes, very what different. about Mean Girls? No, absolutely not. I mean, I kind of enjoyed it, but I liked the original the best. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I mentioned Kaylee Spaney earlier, and she's in Civil War, which is out this weekend. And I want to just give you a little historical, because she used to be a fabulous young talent uh, for communications, video production company that Jeremy and I uh, worked with. And now... She's, she is catapulted, which is so great, and she's so young, and the family is fabulous. But So after a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, I want to make sure you've seen her in Pacific Rim 2 Uprising. She really is, she can do action. She can do action. Then she was in Bad Times at El Royale, opposite Dakota Johnson and Chris Hemsworth, even giving him a little kissy kiss. Mm. Yes, and I sent her a picture that I had with Chris Hemsworth. Like, you're not the only one. <laughs> you okay, have Kaylee Kaylee's number? Don't worry about it. Oh! Uh, then, on the basis of sex, where she was the daughter of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, she's really good in that. Uh, Golden Globe nominated for Priscilla, mm -hmm. uh, playing Priscilla Presley, based on Priscilla Presley's book. 
And uh, now in Civil War, plus she has alien Romulus coming up. Uh. I mean, I, I just couldn't be more excited for her. Mm. Well, no. Alien Romulus sounds like an action one too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But she can really do it all. She is uh, and works hard, and so uh, just super happy for her. So you have her phone number. D again, don't worry about. <laughs> oh, it. Why? Do you I want to call? Sneak Should it we in call, her right call her right now? Let's call her. Yeah. Let's get her on the line. <laughs> How? You said she's young. How old is she? She does look very young. Uh, mid twenties. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, don't forget, two weeks from today is the kickoff for Sato 48, and that s launches into the uh, film festival or the filming for 48 hours of that. And again, Circa 2016, I posted on my pages our eye proxy video for five minutes. Yeah. I Jeff also and John talked about it yesterday. I have oh, to I ask saw. you. They talked about it. I How? saw. I saw what you said. What I said? I saw what you said. I was, you, you exhausted said, me. You said. <laughs> <laughs> I. You know what happened. You were there. I have to ask Jeremy, how uncomfortable were you being so disheveled with food on your shirts, mm -hmm. your hair being a mess? Yep. I sent it to Maddie to watch. Walking in yep. your socks. I know. <laughs> oh my I, gosh. <laughs> I was acting. I portrayed this character to the best of my ability, and I didn't are you move saying, myself from it. Are you saying that I was an overbearing producer? Oh, were no. you saying? That there was, the, do you need to file a claim against me? <laughs> I still sense some tension from 2016. <laughs> no, I thought we had a great time. I said whatever, but I do remember driving back from that event late on a Saturday night. We need to do a reshoot at my house right now. I'm like, I'm tired. My recanting of the whole thing is it was awesome and we all worked awesome and Jeremy was great in it. That was my recanting. Hey, Sayo48.com. Check it out. Chris Luzader, <laughs> thank you so much. We'll see you hour two. Uh, we'll be back with our Mass Singer recap right after this. My cheeks are like, I'm tired.